Church in Collingwood, Ontario, in Canada. I'm sorry I'm not able to join with you. But I want to share some memories of my sister Susan. The death of my sister Susan has hit me harder than I ever expected. I know she is at home with the Lord and reunited with those who've gone before. My last chat with her when she was in hospital in Italy was challenging as I tried to hear and understand all that she was saying because of my hearing. I had to end the conversation and tell her that I loved her. As many of us wanted to help in any way we could, we prayed that she would get better and be able to return home. I have a memory going back to when she was born, when mum asked me what she should be called. I told her she should be called Susan. I can picture that moment and it's ingrained in my mind. Another memory is when she went down with scarlet fever and we were not allowed to go to school. I remember sitting at the side of her bed and spending time with her. Those were special times. Another time, Susan and our cousin were hit by a car as they were crossing the road on their way to school. They both had serious injuries and were admitted to hospital. This was a difficult time. As a family, we enjoyed holidays in Pulte on the Gower coast and spent many Saturday afternoons in the river, at the river in Llanganida. It is a place that our grandparents had camped. The river is cold, but it's always a fun time for us as kids. One of those memories was when our Uncle Frank and Auntie Ada with Elaine and Stephen came to visit, and we went there. Uncle Frank tried crossing the river in all his clothes on stepping stones and fell in and got really soaked. How embarrassing. We had to leave and return home for him to get out of his wet clothes. I know, Elaine, you had a special relationship with Susan and helped her. All of the family had to work for the family businesses of children and we'd have to go on what we called the rounds, knocking on doors and asking people if they wanted any shoe repairs. When it was decided to move the family to Nottingham, I was already working there, staying with an aunt and uncle. Mum and dad bought the property on Donkey Hill where we all moved. I remember that mum and dad had to find a school for John, Susan and Eunice they were all enrolled in different schools. Ruth and I were already working in Nottingham, but I think that the move and change of schools was a challenge. As soon after the move, I got married and moved into a home on Burgess Road, which was within walking distance of Donkey Hill. So we visited each other regularly, and Susan would come and visit us. When Susan and Tony got married, and Julian was born, Susan had some health concerns and we'd visit her and support her as by that time Naomi was born. As cousins, they got on well together. I remember the time we were visiting Susan in Bulwell and she told us they had diagnosed her with multiple sclerosis. She dealt with the diagnosis with strong will and determined to continue to live her life, pushing through any symptoms that she had. We were proud of her as she had two other sons, Matthew and Jonathan. Mum supported her and Tony and took care of the boys. When we moved back to Wales from Nottingham, we still kept in touch, and every time we visited Nottingham to see Mum and Dad, we always made an attempt to visit Susan. My memories of these times are special, as Tony always showed me his new cars. He really enjoyed his cars then, and I'm sure still to this day. I remember the way Susan took care of Tony's mum. From my memory, she didn't speak any English, and I was always surprised at her strength to support, despite not understanding fully her, her Italian mother-in-law. Susan visited mum regularly and pushed herself, even when it was difficult with her walking, to be there. Tony was always supportive and drove her there. We always kept in touch through the years, and when I was moving to Canada, she and Tony were supportive, and it meant a lot to me. It was a difficult time and Susan's support was important to me. The last time I was in the UK after Kevin's death and visiting Ruth, I went to Nottingham and saw Susan and Tony. I don't quite remember whether Dad was with me at that time. That was the last time I saw them. 
Since moving here to Canada, we're still kept in touch by way of new media. I know that she was proud of her sons and grandchildren. They all meant a lot to her, and she would update me when I chatted with her. She never complained to me about her condition other than recently letting me know that she'd been falling a lot. I know that she fought on. Both her and Tony were a team, and their visits to Italy every year were important. She clearly loved Tony and her little dog, Benji. And the year without him was difficult. As we, her brothers and sisters, had special times on WhatsApp, they were special because we are separated by distance, but able to be close with new technology. Some of the photos of us, some of the photos of us as children that John shared with us bring back many memories. We miss her, but we all share our faith and have been praying and continue to pray for Tony and the rest of the family. Our faith is important, and the hope we have of meeting again is special. The words of Jesus, as he promised, he was preparing a place for us. The death, buried, resurrection of Jesus gives us hope, as he promises that he will never leave us. I know the hope is that all of the family will have a relationship with Jesus and know him to be our saviour. Mum's favourite hymn, and I believe was also special to Susan, says this, God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He bled and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my saviour lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. How sweet to hold our newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face uncertain days because he lives. And then one day I'll cross that river I'll fight life's final war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory. And I'll know he reigns. Susan, we miss you. We hold dear all our memories. And pray that all the family will know God's peace and comfort at this time. Love you all.